All right, it is Christmas Eve. It is day 24 of the Whiskey Advent calendar, and Master of Malt has given us something truly special. Uh, now, you may notice in a second that the camera is sort of moving around. That's because Johnny Five is alive. For those of you who grew up in the 80s, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and also because I have an actual camera guy behind there, because I'm going to do something that's a little bit of a treat for you today. Now, first things first, half century blend from the Blended Scotch Company or the Blended Whiskey Company. So that means that the Master of Malt this year was bookended by the Blended Whiskey Company. And I'm just going to say, Good choice, Master of Malt, because damn fine whiskeys, it turns out. So, this is a blend of uh, at least 50-year-old whiskeys, which means we're going back in time to whiskeys that were made long before the modern obsession with high efficiency and detail on stills. Uh, you had open-air malting facilities and open vat uh, fermentation casks, all kinds of fun things, right? Who knows what went into these things? All we know is they made less than a thousand bottles of this and, oh, it's gonna be damn good. Ah, oh, okay, now <clears throat> I researched this one and I made the mistake yet again of reading their tasting notes and now, of course, that's all I can think of. So yeah, tobacco, dried fruit, smooth, Sm dolphin smooth, yeah. some would say. <laughs> yeah, that's one to take home with us right there. And now, you know, since I don't feel like drinking alone, I'm going to keep you. Uh, don't, don't look at this because someday you're going to all meet Rex and you're going to be very excited about that. So first things first, I'm just going to give the rest of this to Rex because I think he'd appreciate it. And I'm going to pour us a whiskey from the vault and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the whiskey school. And here's something that we have decided. What we've decided is we had so much fun doing these videos. We are going to start doing a video every single day. So we're only going to put them on YouTube. If you follow this YouTube channel, just keep following it. We're going to put out a whiskey video every day. And all we're going to do is we're going to pick a whiskey from this ridiculous vault that I have back here. And I've got over 700 whiskeys back here. So that means we can shoot for, you know, two years before we run out of whiskey. Um, and, you know, I'll feature ones if somebody sends some in. We'll feature those too. So uh, let's start with one right now. And I'll tell you a little bit about the school. Too much? Bastard. Mmm. Keep it to yourself. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Rex. Someday you'll meet him. And uh, he's nothing like you imagine. <laughs> All right, let's get us another glass and choose a whiskey to walk with. And I'm thinking, since we have been mostly in Scotch land, I mean, look at this selection. Can you see this? Uh, mostly in Scotch land, which is our single malt area and kind of over here. And we got more behind us. There's stuff on the floor I have no room for. Uh, in here we got rye and blended whiskeys and world whiskeys, uh, Wales, France, Sweden, Taiwan, India, Japan. Up here a little bit of a hint of Canada. Uh, we'll talk about that sometime. Down here into Irish and continuing into American whiskeys, then into bourbons, then into North American single malts, and then things I have no room for, moonshines and shit like that. And of course, a collection of Glen Cairns, which we will now walk with. Now I'm going to go Irish whiskey uh, because uh, it just sounds good, and I'm going to go with Green Spot because hell is yes, Green Spot. Notice my collection over here. We were doing a whiskey tasting earlier, and I neglected to clean up from it. So this is the vault at the Whiskey Marketing School located at Wizard Academy. If you've ever wanted to become a whiskey sommelier, this is where you're gonna end up. I'm gonna show it to you right now. We're gonna walk out of the vault. We're gonna walk around the library mezzanine, and then we're gonna walk down into the classroom where we do class. Now, you're only gonna see levels four and five, uh, three and four of the tower at Whiskey Marketing School, but that's enough. And I'm gonna explain to you why we started Whiskey Marketing School. So, come with me. I sort of feel like Mr. Rogers going into the train trolley to the other side. <clears throat> Welcome to the library for at Whiskey Marketing School at Wizard Academy. And uh, we'll walk around this a little bit. But uh, what happened was we've been teaching marketing at Wizard Academy and business communication and business topology and everything business for independent entrepreneurs uh, for more than a decade. 
uh, going on 15 years. And we decided the things that we're constantly teaching students really need to be uh, shared to the whiskey industry. Now we started drinking whiskey here just because we like whiskey. And then we realized nobody is talking about these things. There's a lot of classes and there's a lot of, by the way, a lot of great classes that are teaching really cool things. Like for example, uh, the history of whiskey or the details of how this whiskey or that whiskey are made. A lot of really freaking cool stuff. But no one is teaching you how to truly market things, marketing, communication, storytelling, presenting skills, right? All these kinds of things that make you actually make money from what you know about whiskey instead of just know a shitload of things about whiskey. Um, and that's why we started this. So I'm gonna take you downstairs to the lecture room. There are a few firm beliefs that we have at Whiskey Marketing School, and one of them is the definition of good whiskey is whiskey that you like to drink. And anyone who argues that is a pretentious asshole. Now, if you weren't sure before, now you know. Because taste and smell are extremely subjective. And anyone who wants to look at your world and say, hey, that thing that you say you prefer, you're wrong, that person is an asshole. And uh, as the whiskey environment grew and we found more and more really cool things happening in the whiskey industry, we discovered that uh, there's a new influx of snobbery into the whiskey industry, and we wanted to fight against that, right? We wanted to bring whiskey back to something that belongs to just people who love to freaking drink whiskey, instead of belongs to the people who need to truly understand what they're drinking. That's one of the reasons that you'll see me not give freakishly detailed tasting notes in these whiskey tastings, because I think it's fun to explore whiskey, but sometimes all you want to do is crack open a bottle and drink some damn whiskey with your friends and not parse it out just enjoy it right so if you've ever wanted to learn how to make a shitload of money from whiskey and how to grow uh, in presenting skills or hell even uh, several of our sommeliers are jewelry store owners and dentists who are planning on using their skills to further their own business we would love to see you here um, come check us out and at the very least Join us each day as we start exploring every whiskey in the Whiskey Vault. Until then, cheers and happy Christmas.